Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I recently went to the doctor and I had blood work done. I wanted to share with you guys the results of my blood work. There was something in this blood work that really surprised me and I'm going to get right into it. Okay, many of you guys know that I'm on a health journey and I'll be sharing more about that because I really focused on my weight and I do definitely think that weight loss and weight maintenance is very important. But there's many other things that I need to focus on as well as that that are equally as important. But you'll be hearing more about those things as we go on in the upcoming weeks and months. So let me share with you guys my results. First of all, I want to say this. I do have to take one medicine, which is a blood pressure medicine. And about maybe eight years ago, I was put on a low-dose blood pressure and it was an old medicine that I was put on by this other doctor. Many people were really surprised that I wasn't on one of the newer medicines, but it was really effective. For some reason, a lot of times doctors want to put me on one of the newer medicines. They want to try me out. And one medicine made me swell more, and then this medicine doesn't lower my blood pressure down as much. So she's putting me back on my old blood pressure medicine, which I'm very glad because when I went to the doctor, Normally, my blood pressure, every single time I go to the doctor, is 120 over 70 or 120 over 80, like clockwork. This time, my blood pressure was like 132 over 85, which is kind of high. And so I asked if I could please go back on the old medicine, and she said yes. So I will be doing that once I'm done with this medicine. So that's one thing to tell you. Next, fasting blood sugar was 80, and she said she wants it to be between 65 and 99, or that's what is deemed, you know, in range, as they would say. Now, the one thing that I was very pleased with, and this can fluctuate a little bit for me, depending on the month, my total cholesterol was 135, which she was very pleased with that. Now, I do understand there's a difference between HDL and LDL. I don't know a lot of knowledge on that. You guys know I'm not a medical professional. That's why I always tell you guys, do your own research, talk to your own doctor. These are just for entertainment purposes only when I'm sharing this. But everything was in range. And to be honest, I eat a lot of eggs. Many people think if you eat a lot of eggs that you're gonna, it's going to really raise your cholesterol. It doesn't for me, but I'm going to tell you something I noticed. There was one time where my cholesterol was a little bit over 200. And the reason why is I was drinking all the, and I'm going to tell you what I think raised it. I was using all these coffee creamers with the hydrated oil, you know, the ones that are sugary and sweet. And I noticed when I was using those, my cholesterol went up. So for me, the more, this is me, what I noticed. The more desserts, the more sugar, the more sweets, my cholesterol goes up. Eggs actually have not so far raised my cholesterol. So she was very pleased with all that. My triglycerides, I don't know what this means, 74. I guess she wants them under 150. And then TGHDLC was 1.2. Um, that was, I guess, has to be below 2.0. Remember, I'm not positive about all these things. I will tell you that everything is in range. Everything is right where she wants it to be. She is a little concerned about the swelling, but she said that she notices the more weight I lose, the swelling goes down, so that's what she'll continue. Her goal for me right now is to get to 180 and make sure I stay there, and then we'll see what we do from there. So that's kind of what she wants me to do. She wants me to exercise more, get better quality sleep, make sure I stay hydrated, reduce stress. All of these things are really positive, and they all go along with the health journey. Now, this is the thing that's going to surprise you and it surprised me. Most people, when they go to the doctor and they get blood work, if they're not taking any kind of vitamins, they, a lot of times, because they're not outdoors, they're low in vitamin D. So they want you to take vitamin D. Well, because I've been taking vitamin D every day, she says, uh, your vitamin D levels are a little high. So now I'm supposed to take vitamin D a couple times a week or maybe three times a week, four times a week, not every day. So that is my one change. But I've got a lot of things that I do want to change over the next 18 months until I'm 60, by the way. Figured I have around 18 months until I'm 60. 
and I have a lot of things that are a work in progress, but I figured when I get my blood work, I'm going to share it with you guys and share with you guys what my doctor wants me to work on. So let me know if you want to share, how is your health going? Share some tips and tricks that you have. I always love to hear from you. I value each and every one of you, and I want to thank you for your very valuable time. I love you, I appreciate you, and I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.